Graveyard Creepers guys. Today what we're going to do, me and my girl here, we're going to make you some bloody nurses or orderly clothing or patient clothing or however you want to look at it. Uh, we're going to, we're going to uh, rip it up just a little bit and uh, throw some paint on it and make some blood. I got a different way to make some blood. I'm going to show you how we're going to make the blood for this with the epoxy and food coloring. So let's get started on her and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to rip this up. Never done it before. So it's going to be the first time with, uh, with me on uh, the different style that I'm going to do, do this time. The last time I made some uh, zombie clothing, I used a uh, grinder and all that stuff. I'm not going to do it on this one here. We're going to, we're going to approach it a different way. So stick around and watch that and uh, show you what we're going to do. paint on there and guys you can probably use whatever kind of paint you want if you don't want to do, do the dirty look you can do something else so what we got guys is some epoxy and uh, we're going to mix some of this up and make some blood now what this is is a five minute epoxy is clear it's a two-part epoxy uh, so what it is you got like a uh, one's a hardener, so once you mix that, you only got a little bit of time to mess with that. And uh, with these, with the, the epoxy in there, these come with a little mixer. So you can mix your own stuff in there or that side, which, however you want to do it. So we're going to mix some of this and we're going to put some blood on her. What I did since I don't have no food coloring because I've misplaced it. So I got some red paint and I put just a little bit of blue in there just to darken that red up. Hopefully you can see that. That's going to make a good, good blood. So I'm not sure how this is going to work because I'm using epoxy and water-based paint. So we're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to mix up some epoxy, put a little bit of paint in there. And uh, we're going to smear it on this girl here see how it looks. Okay, this is what I came up with, guys. If you can see that, that's epoxy and uh, paint mixed together. So 
So now we're just going to take a paintbrush on this and throw it together. All right, guys, I know you see the makeup on. I am no way, shape, or form a makeup artist. I don't even know what I used. This is out in my wife's bag, so I hope the heck I can wash it off. Anyway, I have an old mask, and I went ahead and painted it. So uh, it's still a little tacky, but it, uh, it's, it's dry enough enough where I think I can put it on and uh, put this mask on. Uh, it's still a little tacky. We'll give it a few more minutes to dry. And guys, you, you can also make a hat for these. Um, I just threw one together. That you can just stick over the head and pull back. Let me get that out of the way. I just stuck this together cut it out and made it where you can pull it back over your head or however you want to do it. And uh, so you can make your own, you can make your own mask and your own headband if you want. And your own, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it guys. So, maybe we should Put a little black on that just to kind of kill a kill a collar. I'm gonna put a little black on that. We will add a little blood to the mask. Not much, just a little bit. Now guys, when you put this on, <laughs> that thing's gonna stink. But I'm just telling you, th this is one way you can, you can do stuff. And uh, we're gonna try this on, see how it works. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. And uh, put this sucker on. I'm going to be your, your uh, nurse model today or orderly or whatever you want to call it. And I've got my makeup on. I know I'm the great, I'm a great artist with the makeup and everything. So I'll do a tutorial on what not to do on the makeup. Anyway, guys, we're going to let this dry a little bit and we're going to try it on and go from there. So there you go, guys. This is another outfit that you can make. Uh, fairly cheap I made this I just throwed some uh, extra shirt I had I cut an extra shirt I had up with this collar because the rest of them are different colors and I just threw it around my head put a rubber band in it throw a little bit of black paint on it same way with the sleeves some red paint and some epoxy and red paint and uh, just did it up uh, luckily I bought some paint this color so it kind of matches this because the the mask I have was kind of brown and white, which it wouldn't have mattered. Splatter you a little bit of blood on it and you'll, you'll be fine. But there you go, guys. There's how you can make you a, make you a zombie doctor costume. So if you need a shot, let me know. I'm up for the challenge. And that, this is a real one. Uh, 
what these are for guys I used to use I used to do taxidermy so I'd use uh, embalming fluid inject these into like bird's feet and different stuff like that so I wouldn't use that as a prop but as an option you can take the needle off and put you a fake one on it but if you need a shot there you go guys we hope you enjoy the the video I'm not usually one to putting on a costume and, and stuff like that. I do kind of enjoy that. Uh, but uh, just an easy way to show you how you can build, make your own things fairly cheap. Uh, I might have a total of 10 bucks in this outfit. That's buying outfit, buying epoxy in the paint. You probably, you can do it even cheaper. You can probably do it for five bucks. I think I got each outfit for like maybe a buck and a quarter or buck 50 or something like that from the thrift store. And uh, I've got probably another six, seven sets that I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll make those up in costumes as well. And uh, we'll have them for a hunt whenever we get ready for a hunt and uh, go from there. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go and check out my brothers, my tree, my other, uh, go check my, uh, shit. So there you go, guys. Go check out my brother's in arms uh keith at cobwebs and candlesticks and dave with the weird kid show uh go show them some support and love and like and share subscribe to their channel and as always guys uh it don't have to be perfect just build it all right guys we hope you enjoy this episode of building a doctor's costume a zombie doctor's costume and uh we'll see you on the next build thanks for watching guys